All right, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am very excited to uh, review this on the channel finally. Uh, because today is the 30th anniversary of Celtic Frost's debut full length album. Um, because Marble Tales wasn't really an album. Uh, this is their first proper album. Released 30 years ago today on Noise Records International. All work is done by Inchar Giger. Now, the original was not released on CD, obviously. The original format was a uh, 12 inch vinyl. Uh, lineup at the time Tom Gabriel Warrior, obviously, guitars and vocals. Uh, Hellhammer, he actually formed under a different band named Hammerhead. Uh, Cut the Cross, obviously, Tripticon, Grove Hill. And Dominic Steiner, bass, and Ray Tay Mark drums. Guest session, uh, Wolf Bender, Claudia Mary Morkry, Horse Muller, and Steve Warrior. He was also in Hellhammer as well. So, yeah, uh, amazing album. And, yeah, just, yeah, man. Uh, so, this is their. Proper debut full length. Um, technically, this is their second album because Mortal Kill was the first release, but there's an EP in the in Europe and a full length in in the US, which is interesting actually. Uh, so yeah, in Europe, not an album. But in, your, but in USA, an album. So basically, a mini album. But this is your proper debut for length. And it's great. Uh, so let's just get into it. So, um, track one, which is Innocence and Wrath. Uh, just a Renaissance music introduction track. Very cool. Definitely sets the atmosphere of the album. Then it goes into track two, which is uh, track one technically, because it's the first song in the album, even though it's track two. Uh, track listing wise. Uh, anyways, the Earth Surfer, this typical old school black metal, very, very fast track, very satanic lyrically as well, which I love. And then it goes into track three, which is Jewel Throne. A freaking six on proto blackened thrash metal. This track definitely influenced bands like Disaster and Toxic Holocaust and Midnight. I can hear it. Um then it goes into track four, Dawn of Megadu, which uh hugely influenced Dark Thrones. Uh, to walk the infernal fields from under a funeral moon. I can hear it definitely. Track 5, which is Eternal Summer. Great track. Definitely influenced the uh, uh, Black and Death Doom genre. And if you don't know what that is, that's basically uh, stuff like Catatonia's This Dance of December Souls. Very much so. And Dark Thrones, Parents of Fallen's album, very much so. Even though it's black and, uh, it's black model, but it has, like, a slight death model feel, actually. Somewhat. Not a lot, but you can, yeah. You have to listen to it to understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, Dark Throne, Parents of Fallen's is black model, but it has a lot of, like, death model, I guess, riffings, like, tremolo picking, if you know what I mean. But it's not death model at all, it's black model obviously. Um track six which goes in which of course is uh 
Circle of the Tyrants, which also appeared on the Morbid Tales EP, but they redid it for this album. And this version is obviously a lot better, a lot darker. Um, it goes into track 7, Beyond the North Winds, and then this definitely influenced uh, Immortal, hugely influenced Immortal, particularly Battles in the North, in particular the Toad Track Battles in the North. Um, a Canary in the Riffin, Fainted Eyes, which is a great song, which Ragnarok also covered for a compilation album, a tribute album to Called Crossed, uh, when they, during the time of the Anonymous Satanus album, obviously Wreckin' Rock was not around in the 80s, but hugely influenced Wreckin' Rock. Cures in a Purpose Dream, which is a really cool, uh, Industrial track, very creepy track, I must say myself, and then it goes into Necromantical Screams. Now, this song needs to be called Buried and Forgotten, so this actually needs to be an old Hellhammer track, as every Metalhead knows, but they renamed it Necromantical Screams just to make it a little bit easier. Yeah, the original album is great. Uh, Production is great. The songwriting is amazing. The artwork is amazing. Everything about about this album is great. This version, in particular, that I got from my local HV and Colchester, um, has some bonus tracks as well, which is really cool. So, track eleven, Circle of the Tyrants, Emperor's Dream B track. This is the version before the album version, actually. Uh, track 12, Visual Aggression, and for the Turn of track, which is not on the actual album. Track 13, Suicidal Winds, and for the Turn of track, also a band called Suicidal Winds. Uh, I need to check them out. I've heard a lot of great things about them. I have no idea where they're from, though. Uh, track 14, Journey into Fear, and for the Turn of Session track. Rare track, never made it into onto any albums or anything. Um, Visual Aggression 1988 remix, and then Re 16 Return to the Eve 1985 Zero Jam. So yeah, uh, great reissue. Tom Gabriel Warrior voice guitars and effects, retail mark drums slash percussion slash effects, Dominic Sinner bass slash effects. Produced by Horace and One and Only Mother, co-produced by Tom Gabriel Warrior, executive producer Carl Jetter Will, 1500 Walterback, engineered by Horace Mother, assistant engineering by Tom Gabriel Warrior, and Rick Lights recorded, mixed, and mastered at Cousin Blake and Studio Berlin, September 14th to 28th, 1985. All songs published by Milladora Music Relic. 1986, Tragic Serenades EP, Tom Gabriel Warrior voice slash guitarist effects, Rating Work drum slash percussion, vocal slash effects, Martin Erickin, bass slash effects, produced by Tom Gabriel Warrior and Martin Erickin, executive producer Carl IHR, CA Domain, Conquers Walterback Original Recordings, Engineer by a horse mother recorded at Cousin Blake Studio, Berlin, September 14th, October 1st, 1985. Additional recordings, Engineer by Harris Jones, recorded, mixed, and mastered at Music Club Studio, Berlin, March 13th, 15th, 1986. Uh, but obviously, this album, this is the uh, 2017 Sanctuary Records reissue. Rip Limited and BMG Company, Noise Records, uh, Rishi. So, yeah, uh, amazing album. This is a promotional photo shoot there with uh, Dominic Steiner, Rachel Mark, and Tom Gabriel Fisher Warrior right there. Um, the sad thing is, is that 
Martin Eric Kane uh, recorded the all of the tracks, but he is not actually on the album, even though some photos actually include him, which is really interesting. So that's not Dominic Sinner, that's uh, Martin Eric Kane, but Dominic Sinner actually played on the album, which is interesting. Great basis, but I prefer Martin Eric Kane. That's the Celtic Frost logo. Love the logo. Very uh, resembling of the sequel of Baphomet, but their own take on it, which is freaking sick. I'm not a Satanist per by any means, but amateur wise, like, come on, that's so cool. Um, this is a. Another called the Cross logo there. Very grim, very satanic, very fitting for the Halloween season. Awesome freaking home. Awesome logo as well. This is the called the Cross logo with the uh, bat wings and the skeleton hands. Freaking sick. I love it. And then the back as well with the promotional photo shoot. Yeah, so again, it's Rock Weston, um, Innocence and Wrath, Hero Super, Jewel Throne, Dawn of Megadew, Eternal Summer, Circle of the Torrents, Beyond the North Winds, Fainted Eyes, Tears and Private Scream, Necromagical Screams, uh, Bonnet Tracks, Circle of the Torrents, Emperor's Return of P Track, Visual Aggression, Emperor's Return of P-Track, uh, Suicide Winds, Emperor's Return of P-Track, Journey to Fear, Emperor's Return of P-Sessions Track, Visual Aggression 1988 Remix, Return to the Eve 1984 Suicide, Trying to Rare uh, produced by Horace the One and Only Muller, co-produced by Tom G. Warrior, Executive Producer, Crow, Jetter, Will, 1500, Walter Beck, Engineer, by Horace Muller, Assistant, Engineering, by T.G. Warrior, and Rick Waits, Recorded, Mixed, and Mastered, by Casablanca uh, Studio, Berlin, 14th to 28th of September, 1985, and Muller, my modern music, slash noise, and Muller, do our music for leg, 1985, uh, extra special thanks to, Thanks for Giger for being so incredibly nice and for believing in the Monty Frost, Mia Conzanego, and what's what's the matter for the never ending support, Maya Glad Ardillo for making so much possible horse mother the man and who makes C C F happen. Well loves like no silly nickname the sign and no the lore of metal Shared is the Andrew, Rick, Steve, Son of Zor, Evie, Isher, the Big Family, the Crazy, the Steiner Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lights, Bob Kickass, Moldoni, Energy, Mod C, Hands, Bruins, and Carl Walterbeck. Yeah. Even Carl. Off Noise Records. Grand Noise Airs. Damn Posers Must Die. Slago and Metal Blade Records. Don K. G. Crowley. Crowley. Artist Wars. Just like. Just the rest. Really hard to freaking read this, man. Uh, Celtic Frost and crew would like to thank 
other friends, supporters, and fans that helped us go in the we hope this is going this far. We we'll always keep you in our minds and draw them out of the club. Thanks to you all. We love you all. We love you. We'd like to thank Martin Eric Kane for his dedicated work and the great time we had together. We wish all the best for him in the Future. Thanks and good luck to both us and crew, Ketan and Horrix, Mass Six Stargers, <laughs> this freaking point, Thor, Blood and Baby Seal, Mackey and Coroner, Zerth Ungle, Snow White, Nasty Savage, Gold the Cross, and supported. Supported equipment wise by Music Clan, Zurich, Bon Island Drum Center, and Imperial Drum Zurich. Call the Cross Clothes and Image Supply exclusively by Boutique Ripoff. Cell Car Grand T41 8 one Zurich Switch 90. And uh, a non zero zero. Car by Bodic. How is the Zurich? This album was recorded in the memory of the great Mercury and Gemini. Sprace programs and especially in the memory of Gus Grossen and Apollo 1. Noise and division of modern music. Post death. Post fast one one zero two two six telephone number zero three oh two five one zero two eight one distributed by SBB PMBH Ice Grabby three four three zero zero Hanover one telephone number O five one one slash three two seven eight six seven Cover designed by Tom and Gabriel Warrior. Pendings by H.R. Giger. Call the Cross and to make Ethereum logos by T.G. Warrior. Heptogram design by Martin Eric N. and T.G. Warrior. Heptogram design drawing by Martin N. and T.G. Warrior. Lurk Suite inside and back cover. Which reigns by Mickey. Spogger, Cut the Cross, Back Cover Logo by L.G. Oh, Springer, yeah. By T.G. Warrior, Min, Martin, N. U. Springer, 1984 85. Paintings, Andrew Giger, 1977 1983. Photography, Ernst Words. Cut the Cross would like to give away extra dedicated thanks to. Gilbert and Wiseman. For his very special support, thank you. What you call that a rock or gosh? Call the crossed fog reproduction Rick Lights Rob Manager Navigator Drug Light Design Live Sound Steve Snake Warrior Strange Instruments Blue Mirror Sunglasses Adonis Road Stage merchandise most OTT martyred on his on this planet and help by pet trumpet lights and Roger drums. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry for uh, like mispronounced stuff, it's hard to read any of that stuff. Call the cross and for the journey, be track. Uh, with Satan and some very beautiful females, and uh, the type of females that I uh, like, <laughs> let's just leave it there. Um, so yeah, uh, from left, Tom Gabriel Warrior, Ray J. Mark, Marinara Kane, Sergio Argetti, promotional photo shoot, Betty Dwarf, 
Switzerland, April 1985. Correct question inside. Let's photo shoot. Uh, first photo shoot with new drummer, Rich at Mark Greyfield Bunker, first will Switzerland, March 1985. Martin Kierberg's. Uh, 1985, to make a 30-on album credits, tracks 1, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Tom, Gabriel Warrior, voice guitarist effects. Red Tape Mark, drums, percussion effects. Dominic Sinner, bass effects. Produced by the, by, produced by Horace, the one and only mother. Co-produced by Tom, Gabriel Warrior. Executive producer, Carl Jetter, Will, 1500, Walterbeck. Engineer by Horace Mother. Assistant Engineering. By Tom Gilbert Warrior and Rick Lights. Recorded, mixed, and mastered at Casa Blake Studio, Berlin, December 14th, 28th, 1985. All songs switched by Melodora Music for Leg. Cover at Satan 1, printed by Ezra Giger, 1977. Proportions, 1 centimeters, extra large, 70 centimeters. Work number, 1324 acrylic. Reproduction, Roman Gretler. Insert art, Fritz 3. Painted by Answer Giger, 1981-1983. Portion 70 centimeters. Extra large, 100 centimeters. Work number 1500 acrylic. Introduction: Rolling Gretler. Uh, cover design: Tom Gerber Warrior. Public Frost into Mega Ethereum logos by Tom Gerber Warrior. Have the Grammar design by Martin Eric Gang slash Tom Gerber Warrior. Have the Grammar design by Martin Eric Gang slash Tom Gerber Warrior. Lyrically, inner gatefold and black and back cover. Led Rain by R. Springer, Call the Cross Back Cover, Shield Logo, R. Springer, Tom Gerber Warrior, Barn Eric Gain, R. Springer, 1985, Penance by H. R. Giger, 1977-1983, Photographer, R. Swears, Old Tracks, 1985, Sanctuary Records Group Limited, BMG Company, Except Track 14, 1992, Sanctuary Records Group Limited, BMG Company, Track 15, 1988, Central Records Group Limited, BMG Company. Some more uh, promotional photos there. From left, Tom Gave Warrior, Tom Gary Warrior, Martin Eric Gain, right to Mark Sergio Argetti. Promotional photo shoot, Bassador, Switzerland, April 1985. From left, right to Mark, Tom Gary Warrior, Martin Eric Gain, Sergio Argetti. Promotional photo shoot, Best Wars, Switzerland, April 1985. Survive photo. Tom Gabriel Warrior, photograph during Tulsa Cross's first ever concert. Grab and Noah St. Gallen, Switzerland, May 17th, 1985. Photograph for unknown. What? You call that a rock for a gosh. A cellist, frog, rod a crew. Rick Lutz, frog manager, navigator. Stage, what design, live sound, Steve the Snake, Warrior, Stage, Instruments, Blue Mirror, with Sunglasses. Adonis, or Road Stage, Merchandise, Mills, ATT, Rodeo, and Miss Winnet. Additional help of Pat, Trumpet, Lights, and Roger Drums. Extra special thanks to Andrew Giger for being so incredibly nice and for believing in the Mighty Frost. Mia Bonzanigo and Krista Mir for the never any support. Mia. Gerardillo for making so much possible. Horse Muller, the madman who makes CF happen. Ralph Ludwig, no silly nickname this time. Andy, the Lord of Metal. Sergius, the Royal Crew, Rick, Steve, Donisser, Ed Fisher, the Big Filmy. Curtis, the Inner Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lights, Bob, Kickass, Mel Donny, Anna, Mark Caldy, Hans Burns, and Carl Walkerback, yeah. Evan Carl of Noise Records, Brian Pulsers, Masai, Sligo Motorblit Records, Don FK, Jeff Cordelli, Ernest Words, just the best. Um, special thanks to Wolf Bender, Alec, and Arsula of Disc Trade for all the special help. Thomas and Hands of Music Land, Summon and Baltic Ripoff, Baltic Beliza, Otto Mayer, Mastrilla, McPlum, Christopher, Bucks, Kroner, Ernest Fresh, UIP, Martin, Cooper, Swimmin, Shelly Hammer, Pat Wagner, Major's Daughter, Evie Sunshine on a Redder Day, Sergio Argetti, and Crew, 
Antonio Navarro with Dorso, Bob Chessier and Sledgehammer, Press Jane, Farth Rush, Corby, John Fetters, and HM Onslaught. Freaking cool. Venom, Ribbon, and Friends, you guys are the Mega Thrashers. Oliver, Clement, Christoph, Stahel, Chili Boy, you gotta believe. Mamadou, Mushy, Mushy, Marcus, Mackay, Gary, Benfold, Johnny, Her, and Metal KO. Good luck in the future. Guillotine, Monty Connor, David, Gosson, Rockard, Andrew, Tom Walsh, and Poser Death. Julie, Shock Power, Johnny, Daryl, Amark, and Harker. Gosson, it's just an unbelievable metal. Renders, Village, The Thin, Blitzkrieg Magazine, and Staff. Thrush Magazine, Metallic Guns, Metallic Assault. Red Dorsey and Grunder, Titty, Mike, Speed Attack, Tringer, and The Boys, Hob Rockin', Rock and Rise of Dead Magazine, Blood Price Magazine, Derek Lord, Mike Miller and Vicious Death, Pentagram Magazine, Mike Butch and Metal Slaughter Magazine, King Frey and Mick Cam Fraud, Megaton Management, Joseph Carlosy, Eric Dixon and Pounder, Gary Hemp, Merciful, Kez Buckland, Buckleman, uh, Jason Mantis, Frank and Metal Commandment, Jacob Pedersen and Metallic Based, freaking sick man, I've heard, uh, Joe St. Learn and Joe Sports, David Horbin and Subway Mag, Chris Sauzer, Gert Elders and Metal Eruption, Chris Beard, Olivia Steve, Jens Richie and Susie Schweder and Family, Roger Bro Records. Oh, yeah, freaking sick self, man. And more information in the picture from there. Um, Bernard Kane, photograph from Zurich, Switzerland, in autumn of 1995, Joe Marston, promotional photo shoot, promotional photo shoot, Best Door, Switzerland, in April 1995, from Lake Britain, Mark Tom Gare, Warrior, Bernard Kane, uh, and lyrics there, based on the manuscript, Pure. The Ballad of the Swords and Son of the Iceberg by Tom Gibber Warrior, which is freaking cool. And a promotional photo shoot and lyrics there. Uh, arranged by St. Mark Senior Warrior August 1985. Tom Gibber Warrior on stage during the World War III Festival. Montreal, Canada, November 30th, 1985. Robert Hold Review Pop Rock. Um. To make a theory on a personal view by X Fury Russell. Original album cover. And promotional photo shoot and lyrics. From left, uh, Ray Tan Mark, Tom and Warrior, Dominic Sooner, Ernst Wears. Frivolously unreleased outtake from the To Make a Throne album photo shoot, Zurich, Switzerland, September 1985. And photo and lyrics. So I'm writing the rehearsing sessions for the To Make a Thriller album. Grayfell Bunker, Brooksville, Switzerland, summer 1985, Brown Covers. Lone by a Poem by Robert A. Howard called Samaria. Promotional and wide photo by uh, and lyrics. Previously unreleased, I'll take from the To Make a Throne album photo shoot. Zurich, Switzerland, September 1985. Public Frost's second concert in Switzerland, Garbon Hall. St. Gillen, December 27th, 1985. Marcus Edelman. Uh, lyrics inside. Lyrics inside. Lyrics inside. Uh, Tom Gabriel Warrior, previously on release, I'll take from the To Make a Throne album photo shoot, Zurich, Switzerland, September 1985. And Jarrett NCP in there. 2017 To Make a Throne on reissue credits, all tracks from Master by V. Sintera and Tom Gabriel Warrior, and watch that studio when Schleit Germany in March 2016, archivist and mastering consultant. Zen Ray Johnson, Project Supervision, Jay Famins, Concept and Art Direction, Dormgiver Warrior, Graphic Design, Huge Drummer, 
2017, Rich Lewis, Gratitude, Sexual Barber, Malcolm Dillon, Hugh Gilmer, Steve Hammond, Zan Ray Johnson, and she wins. Actually, Russell, Vincent, Tura, and Michael Zek. So, yeah, uh, that's my pretty, that's my, uh, uh, lengthy review of Celtic Frost to make theory on. Just wanted to get it out there, man. Uh, so, yeah. And now I'm gonna freak play this album. So, yeah. That's my review of Call the Cross and Mega Theory on. For a writing for this uh, album, I'm going to give this album a solid 10 out of 10. So, yeah. That's my review of Call the Cross. Next video is gonna be a little, and it's gonna be a lot shorter. And that's going to be a anniversary reveal of Schizophrenia by Salvatore. The anniversary is in three days. And then, yeah, uh, whatever comes, comes.